Yo, what's up DFS players? We are going through the best prize picks player props for tonight. So again, as a quick recap, the way that prize picks works is pretty fascinating. Essentially, any two picks you put into an entry is just 20 to win 60. That's what you're going to see. 20 to win 40 in profit plus your $20 stake back. So that's just plus 200 odds, right? 20 to win 40 in profit. So it doesn't matter what two picks you select. If you pick the overs or the unders, it's 20 to win 60. So we've gone through this before, but essentially, because every two pick entry is just plus 200 odds, what that means is you have to win your player props on prize picks roughly 57.74% of the time to break even, just to break even, right? So that's the break even win rate for player props on prize picks and two, picks en two pick entries. So if you're winning your player props 65% of the time, you're going to be super profitable. If you're winning your player props 53% of the time, you're going to be very unprofitable on prize picks. So we're looking for props that are hitting at a rate above 57.735%, right? So the first bet I can find on Odds Jam is right here, right? This is just from the positive expected value betting tool, which will show you sharp DFS picks and sharp sports bets, right? It's Elvis Andrus over half of a total base. So just to get one single, one double, one triple, minus 137 implied odds on prize picks, which just comes from the fact that you have to be winning 57.74% of your props to break even. So if we click into the odds, you can see that this is a great prop to include in our prize picks entry, right? All the sports books are juicing this. The over is heavily juiced, right? From minus 164 to minus 169. So the whole sports betting market is in agreement that Elvis Andrus over half of a total base is a big favorite, right? So Pinnacle Sportsbook, the sharpest bookmaker, they're pricing this at minus 169 and they're pricing the under at plus 125, right? So the over is heavily favored. So what we can do is we can figure out based on Pinnacle's market, and again, this bet has a profit margin of 1.32%, as seen on Odds Jam, we can figure out what is the win probability for our bet, right? Minus 169 plus 125. So if we put that into a zero vig odds calculator, just like this, we can see this bet, according to Pinnacle, the market on the sharpest bookmaker, Pinnacle, minus 169 plus 125, this bet should be hitting 58.57% of the time. So that's the first prop I'm including in my prize picks entry. Now, the second one is right here. It's actually a slightly higher profit margin. It's ALEC 2.42% profit margin over five and a half strikeouts, right? So Pinnacle has this heavily juiced, so the over is much more likely, and we're getting this in our prize picks entry, right? So this is the second pick we're going with. Minus 173 plus 129 is the market for this. And here's where it gets interesting, right? On prize picks, if we go to this player prop, so we want Elvis Andrus over half of a total base, and then we want Alec over five and a half strikeouts, right? This is the prop we're gonna be betting on. Is on DraftKings, this only comes out to plus 175 odds. On prize picks, we're getting 20 to win 60, which is plus 200 odds. So we're getting value to the sports books. And here's where it gets even more interesting. As you can imagine, if we switch these both to unders for Elvis Andrus and Alex Strikeouts, what we can do is we can go here to batter props very briefly, and then we can go to Elvis, is if you switch both to unders, you're getting plus 361 odds, whereas on prize picks, you're just getting plus 200 odds, right? The payout doesn't change on prize picks, depending on if you pick the overs or the unders, whereas on DraftKings, this goes from plus 175 if you're picking both overs to plus 361 if you're picking both unders. And that's because the overs are much more likely to hit, which is implied through the sportsbook odds, right? The fact that sportsbooks have the over for Elvis Andrus heavily, heavily juiced means the over is much more likely to hit, right? So we can scroll down and we can go to this, like the overs a lot more likely to hit, right? And you can see the entire betting market is heavily juicing the overs. So this is a great pick to include in our prize picks entry. So we're gonna take both overs and we now have the win probabilities for both of our bets. So 59.2% beating the break-even win rate right here, 
for um, the strikeout prop, and then for the total basis prop, the win rate was 58.57%. Again, we're just backing out these win probabilities using real-time betting data from Pinnacle Sportsbook, the sharpest bookmaker. So two player props right here. We're winning this 34.67% of the time. So we're beating the break-even win rate for two pick entries on prize picks, and we're staking 100 to win 200. So our player prop entry on prize picks has $4 in EV. If you go through the math, 34.7% of the time, we're winning 200 bucks in profit. The other 65.3% of the time, we're losing our stake of $100. So I'm going to go ahead and lock it in. As always, any questions you have about profitable sports betting, anything like that, you can comment them below. You can book a call with us. We're happy to discuss, you know, profitable prize picks betting strategy. You know, my only job is to help people make money sports betting. So any questions you have, please don't hesitate to reach out. And again, thanks so much for your time.